I love trading Bitcoin and I make a lot of profit doing so, but uh, the community always makes me laugh. It's a funny old space. Um, you know, everybody's inherently bullish on Bitcoin. Everyone's got the underlying fundamentals, really strong beliefs uh, in upwards rises, halvings, equaling big price increases. And everybody's really keen to buy and hold this asset, uh, which is absolutely fine and acceptable. And then when a dip finally comes for that buying opportunity, everybody suddenly scared. They think it's going to drop even more. They no longer want to buy the dip because they're a little bit fearful. And then price rises again. And then they have their regrets. Why didn't I buy the dip? And in this video, I'm here to tell you why I am looking to buy the dip. Why I am happy with the drop on Bitcoin. Why? Because I am actually bullish. I am expecting higher targets to be hit. So if we drop here on Bitcoin and we reach lower targets, I am happy, comfortable, prepared, planned, and will take full advantage once again of that dip to turn it into a long trade and into massive profits. That's what I've been doing for the past few months of this uptrend. And that is what I will continue to do. So if you want to know my plan, if you want to know my targets, if you want to know what I'm looking for next, stay tuned to the whole of this video and I will talk you through absolutely everything. I'll get you prepared for the end of 2023, moving into 2024 in style, the chart champions way. So of course, we've saw a little bit of a pullback and that is fine. Uh, I've been making it very clear, very, very clear for the past few months, right? I am long and chill, uh, bullish, expecting higher prices to come. I'm not taking these aggressive short trades and I am looking to long the dip. And that has been my clear bias for months now, ever since we reclaimed that 27,500. And, uh, you know, what's funny I say about like the community of Bitcoin is, you know, I've come in here saying long and chill, long and chill, long and chill. And on each time I've made a video long and chill and there's a pullback, you know, you get the one or two that are like, ah, you're wrong. Uh, you, you've missed the move. You've missed the short trade. Ah, I can't believe you were long and chill. And then you get another rise, make another video saying long and chill. You get a pullback. Everybody's scared, fearful, thinking there's a big drop. How ah, Daniel, you've uh, got the calling correct. And then comes another rise and they, um, you know, they're annoyed that they keep missing the dips. And it all comes down to that level of confidence, patience, and just being prepared and planned. So, you know, you can, you can imagine once again, you get the drop to the downside and people are once again thinking, ah, long and chill isn't the right strategy here. Uh, you shouldn't be looking to long the dips. There's a big drop coming, uh, you know, fear, take care, all these types of danger words, you know, the big hype words for me, uh, you know, it all comes down to having a plan. So let me move on to explaining that next. So really simply, yeah, we are getting a drop reverse here to retest support as resistance, subsequent drop to the downside. So this all lines up for me still as acceptable corrective price action. So there's nothing here that signals to me this is a very bearish move. This is a start of a big impulse reversal. This is a very corrective price action in terms of the retracement percentage, in terms of the speed of the move. This is all looking co corrective when you also start to look at the lower term time frame price action and order flow. It does lead to the thesis of mine when it comes to the trading plan. We are going to be seeing another rise to the upside. So with that, then I need to get two core bits of information absolutely locked down. And that is where am I happy to see price drop to where I will look to further add to my longs. And very important point number two is where is the major target where I'm going to look to sell those long trades or close those long trades and take major profits. Those are two very important bits of information. So first, let's start with step number one of where am I interested for this to drop down to, to remain with a bullish bias, longing the dip and, you know, remaining in my, you know, long and chill positions. One thing that I want to really emphasize, because, you know, newer viewers sometimes can get confused when I say these type of, uh, you know, uh, sayings, I suppose. My long and chill positions, I have longs open from $16,000, $17,000. I have major longs open from twenty-seven and a half, and then $30,000. So my long and chill positions are open from lower. They are sat in very nice profits. So, you know, when I say, for example, long and chill, um, you know, it doesn't mean long instantly, <laughs> you know, doesn't mean that it means 
you have to understand I've got long positions from lower and I'm happy to chill in them. I wouldn't be opening longs into resistance. Okay, so that's just one important part that I want to just make very clear to everybody. Uh, when I say long and chill, it doesn't mean instantly go to the chart and long. It means understand the plan that I'll talk you through. Recognize that we want to see drops because that is where we can add to our longs. And, you know, then once you've seen the dip, you look to long on dips and then you look to take profits on the rises. Right. So the dip that we're looking at here. Where would I like to see this drop down towards? Well, I have some really nice confluence areas. We got a very strong, uh, well, really the strongest here is lining up at the NPOC on the monthly, right? That's around $36,000, $37,000. And this at around $38,850, you got the nice one-to-one -one currently uh, on the weekly naked point of control. So for me, the, the way that I view the charts are the lower this drops, okay, while we remain above, $33,000. The lower it drops, the bigger that buy opportunity. And this is what I was talking through the champion members in a live stream uh, yesterday, actually. I was talking them through, I'm really happy and comfortable to long the dip. You know, the more this drops, the more really bullish. Uh, while we remain above 33K, the better the long opportunity, right? So naturally, if we're bullish and we're expecting higher targets to be hit, we should be more bullish longing at $34,000 than we would be longing at $42,000, right? Because if we're longing at $42,000, the target is closer than if we're longing, for example, at $34,000. So that just means the lower we drop, the more overall upside potential there is and the bigger the profits that will be made. So we become more bullish as price is dropping and more cautious as price rises, right? And more bearish because then we're coming up to big targets where we're taking profits on longs, we're looking to head short and we're taking that next level of caution, okay? So I am really comfortable longing um, and looking to add to my positions on these types of pullbacks. And I've got some three major levels there around 30, 8,800, around 36, 37,000, down to around 34. These are my levels where I'm so comfortable um, in, in adding to longs with average prices, of course, much lower, adding to these levels because I do have still high probabilities based off of statistics. This is years and years of statistics that I've done. I now <laughs> trading every day in this market that the higher price targets I have will be hit, okay? So that's what it means by longing the dip, having a plan, being prepared. So then when you see these days, for example, let's say we see a big 15% drop to the downside in a day, you know, 95% of the market will be fearful. They'll be scared. They'll be in the comments. Uh, Daniel, you were long and chill. We've just dropped 15%. How you've missed the move. How you've got wrecked. How you've lost a lot of profits. And then there'll be the guy in the 5% like myself that's planned happy to see the drop, locking in longs, and then you see a few days later a rise of 15%. And, you know, you just got to have that very good plan. And I'm not saying I'm 100% correct, right? I understand I can be wrong. And I absolutely could uh, miss the top on the shorts. So I could take a long trade and I lose that trade. And that all comes down to then risk management. So part of my planning is understanding I can be wrong. And I know the invalidation and stop loss to get out of that trade if and when the charts start to change and really prove to me that I was wrong on that idea. I'm not so egotistical that I will remain forever in that bias, that I cannot be bearish, that I cannot short. No, I will trade the charts and the charts are telling me this is still a good long opportunity on dips and further dips to come. Happy with updating my bias and, uh, you know, really the predictions that I'm making based off of new data and, and chart evidence that will come. But as of yet, I have no reason to believe my higher targets will not be hit. Thus, I'm very comfortable in my longs and I'm happy to long the dip up until my next higher targets, which I would like to explain to you next. Before that, I just would like to make a few very quick announcements for you. First of all, if you haven't seen it already, please come across and watch the video that we uploaded a few days ago with myself and Severin. This was a really nice video. Uh, it's called Introducing Coach Severin. And I recommend you just go over and give this a quick watch. It's 12 minutes and there's a lot of really, uh, just really nice general trading talk in here. And you get to know Severin at the end of the day, obviously a, a coach at Chart Champions. And you can see from the comments below, like, 
This guy is uh, an absolute privilege to watch day in, day out. Nice and inspiring. He is honestly one of the best traders we've ever seen. And, you know, for many, even if you read the comments, the best trader at Chart Champions. So a lot of people have a lot of love for Severin. Uh, so, yeah, spend a few minutes, listen to that interview, and uh, hopefully you'll learn about, a lot about him and what makes him successful, the dedication that he has, the mindset, his routines. This guy has just switched on and you'll see, even from the quick interview, why he is so profitable when it comes to trading. So that would be a good use of your time. I recommend you watch it if you haven't already. Uh, next thing that I wanted to mention is just that I have done a dedicated altcoin live stream. That was in the last Champions live stream that i done. Uh, that was, again, on the weekends. Uh, so if you want to catch my latest Champions live stream, which includes actually an altcoin in an accumulation schematic, and it is Honestly, one of the best accumulation schematics for an altcoin I have ever seen. And if that prediction does come to light and I am correct on it, we are about to see a big rise to the upside on this altcoin. And so if you want to know the alt, if you want to know that accumulation setup, if you want to know the whole breakdown of the long trade, then that is covered in the latest Champions live stream. Of course, with the Champions membership, you get access to live trading. You get access to dedicated weekly live streams, AMAs, trade recaps, roundtables, of course, the whole educational library for the contenders and champions, daily live streams where we update you on our chat plans and uh, you know trading biases for the day ahead you got everything on the one-stop shop of the platform chart champion so make use of that and the final thing that i want to announce before we go over back into the charts is it is christmas we are giving back and we got a nice little surprise for you all and that is um if you are new or experienced and you want to get into atis we've actually we now release the first four videos of our Atus trading course uh, for free. So really simply, all you need to do is sign up as a spectator uh, on our website and you can watch those videos for free and start learning. So if you're currently on Exo, Sierra charts, etc., you know, if you're trading on Exo web, uh, you know, Atus is a software similar to this. By the way, Atus is free for cryptocurrency. So that's a big bonus for many. You know, Exo you have to pay for, Atus is free. And Actually, Atus is superior software. There's a lot of extra benefits. So if you want to learn about Atus, you can do that absolutely free right now. Link in the uh, in the comments down of the Chart Champions post. Click on that link. Sign up for a free Spectator account, and then you can watch uh, yeah the, the four videos here within the series. So yeah, make use of that. Huh? <laughs> learn how to use Atus over the Christmas New Year break, and uh, see if you can get over it off of EXO. So uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to announce there. And now moving on to what I promised you, where the higher targets are. So for me, honestly, uh, it's internal. And it's like I was saying to my champions last night, it is internal, but it is still a major target for myself because of the confluence that we have here. And that's really from around $43,800 to $44,000. So there's a little bit of a zone off of the uh, daily NPOC. We actually have weekly levels. We have high volume notes. We have previous range pointed controls. This is a very high confluence zone. So I want to make it very clear. I am bullish on dips while this remains untapped. If we are to hit my major target first and drop, the context does change, okay, on, on being so bullish. So this is a major target which is currently untapped, um, which is going to be absolutely critical. I feel this is a major level here. Internally, yes, but nevertheless, absolutely critical uh, for the end of the year price action. OK, I'm not saying we cannot get through this. We absolutely can. But this is a level up until the highs, of course, where you can look for SFBs, uh, where we absolutely just have to be aware of the resistance that we have in this zone. OK, and the potential short trade setups that we have there, because you know this is, this is a very high confluence zone. And I mentioned that there's no guarantees that we'll reject. And if we do simply breeze through it, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I'll trade the charts and say, hey, we have now looked for the reclaim of that resistance. Not longer looking to short it because we've reclaimed it as support. And that's where I'll look up to my much larger price targets. OK, at around that 48 to 50 thousand dollars. This is where we got major previous highs, previous range point of controls, monthly MPOCs to weekly MPOCs. This is massive, massive, massive level. Again, there's no guarantees we reject there. And if we continue this big, big uptrends, uh, you know, I will just simply maybe take a few shorts on the way up. That is acceptable areas to hedge. If I get stopped out of that short, 
it will be a simple case of I had a plan, I traded my plan, that trade didn't work out, I'll close the trade for a loss and move on to the next setup. That is the way I trade. That is this is what we preach. This is what we teach. This is what we do at chart champions. We trade the charts. We make profits. We're in it for the long term. We're not in it for get rich quick, turn a dollar into a hundred overnight. No, we're in it for the long process, building statistics, really taking it as a business, right? Trading is a business. It is a career. And so if you want to take it seriously, if you want to be around like-minded individuals, okay, this is where you're going to be. Chart champions, you've got the access to live trading streams where you can see it all done in real time, how accounts are built, the mindsets needed, you know, just a, you know, a really positive uh, space. And I've, I, I'll, I'll end with saying this, I, I mentioned it in my previous video and I had a lot of comments and interactions with people down below. And I always like that. I always love reading all the comments and interacting with you all. So um, always reading them if you want to drop one down below and reply to this. But, you know, I made it very clear that Chart Champions won two years ago. I was a very different place than where it is now. Like myself personally, uh, you know, I was way more, I would say, like immature, not really with the correct mindset in terms of lifestyle. And, you know, I was not as not as concentrated and connected to chart champions as, as I should have been. And over the past, you know, really nine months, I have fully understood uh, my previous, you know, um, mistakes, I could say, learned from that and implemented it to also help improve uh, not only myself, but also chart champions. Right. And that's why I say like our service is truly recognizable, unrecognizable from a few years ago. So if you if you were around uh, 21, 22, you know, I would really say come and come and check us out. Uh, come and check us out. Uh, see the way that we now work. See how professional our discord is see how professional our new content is the new coaches you know everything from the ground up all of the back end team we've changed everything uh, i've changed myself which i think is a very big benefit to chart champions too so you know i would really just say come come and hit, give us a go i honestly feel this is a world class service with a world class team with people and coaches that truly are making money with what they do and we want to give back and help and um yeah i feel not just myself, but if you read from a lot of the feedback from long-term members, it is uh, greatly improved <laughs> from a few years ago. So yeah, there's there's that as well. In 2024, we're always looking to get better. We're always looking to improve, learn from past mistakes, you know, listen to feedback, implement changes, and uh, just continue to grow personally and uh, as a service. We, we, we really do want to see people succeed. So yeah, now you know where to be if you're interested in that. So yeah, final summary, I am bullish. I am looking too long further dips to the downside. I'm not going to be scared or fearful if we drop. Major target internally above us around 43,800 to 44. If we do reclaim that, then yeah, I'll look for, you know, 47, 48, $50,000 up to 54 area high up to all time highs. You know, I've got my plan and strategy if we reclaim these levels. But the way that I do trade <laughs> is level to level trading and a very professional just business mindset of come in here, plan my trade, take the trade, win that trade. Perfect. If I lose that trade, I'll journal, understand why and move on to my next trade. I'm never going to be upset, frustrated, sad. Every lesson, uh, you know, I'm going to absolutely learn from that. So every loss for me is a is a lesson, even myself doing this for, uh, you know, over a decade still going to take some losing trades. I'm still going to remain humble, focused and understanding I can always improve. I need to adapt with the times, adapt my strategies, make new strategies and eat, hey, even learn from the other coaches alongside me. That's why they're here because they are some of the best traders in the world and their strategies I too learn from. So if you want to get involved on that, you know where to be. Thank you ever so much, champs. I'll read your comments down below. If you have enjoyed this, smash up and hit that like button. We've given away those first four free videos for the ass if you want to learn more. And uh, yeah, everything else you can check out on our platform over on the website. So yeah, cheers, everybody. Want to wrap it up there. Thank you ever so much. And uh, yeah, happy trading. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.